Well, good afternoon, uh, Falkirk and Edinburgh teams. I uh, wish you a happy Saturday, the 15th of April. Time is marching on. Uh, Christmas, a distant past. <laughs> Not long till Christmas or summertime. Just thought I'd give you some updates on what we're doing together as a company. Oh, you can see me now. Uh, some updates on Star Plan. Star Plan is now up and running again. Uh, you should receive your rosters, maybe a couple of teething problems since we got it back up and running last week. So we will be initiating um, your rosters, uh, which will feed through to you onto the PASS system. Uh, for those of you in Falkirk, you haven't started using the PASS system fully yet, but you will be using that in the coming weeks that will be initiated. Uh, where you will be logging into each call and recording information on the past system on or off of your phones. Uh, we've been doing this in Edinburgh for the past year, 14 months, 15 months, it works. So you will be doing the same when it comes. Holidays are coming again, it's now April 1st. We would ask you to think of your holiday time that you want to have off for summertime uh, and put your request into either Suzanne or to myself or Heather in Edinburgh office as soon as you know when you want to get away please do not book holidays prior to getting authorization from the office that would be fair enough or anybody else if you were not to get holidays that would be disappointing so please make sure you get your holiday requests in time and have them approved prior to booking them properly training development um, if you haven't done so we're putting out some more training and development opportunities for you that includes SUQ two and three. Some people I've met recently in Edinburgh, I'm applying for your for your um, place on the course. It takes some commitment to do it. Um, if you've been registered in the last four or five years and registration is due with Triple SC, you must have that information and that qualification by that time. I can think of one person who's due to have theirs by next year. Uh, if they haven't got that registration, the Triple SC will be asking why you haven't got it. And that means you may not be able to work. So if you are coming towards that time, Please, please apply for the course and, and know the reasons why. I'll be talking about continuous professional learning as well. It's a responsibility for you guys if you are registered uh, that you keep up your training and development and you log your information on the CPL uh, learning zone. It's through Triple SC. I have given some people recently the log and the information that, that ties into that. I will email you with information updates through my next speed read online next week. Uh, but please think about continuous professional learning as part of what you do. If you are already registered and you have your SVQ, that condition, that's great. Uh, the sky's the limit for you if you want to do anything else in, in learning, uh, that's great. Let me know. Look online. We have put out the mental health learning awareness course on the Learn Pro. Some of you have done it. Can you please, if you haven't done it yet, please give yourself some time to do that in the next few days and have that in by next Friday, please. Uh, Falkirk staff, I'm planning a meeting with you all just to go through the introduction of the the um, PASS system with you in the next couple of weeks. So uh, just keep your ears picked up for that one, eyes peeled, I'll be in touch with you all. From the 1st of April, you will have a wage rise of 30 or 40 pence. Uh, Falkirk and Edinburgh, it's a similar increase of 3.3%, I understand. There's a, a big campaign push for more money uh, because not being political here but talking about the government the national government Westminster looking to give us more money uh, there's discrepancy between health care staff and social care staff uh, where we're not being paid the same by doing the same job and same responsibilities so there is a campaign from Scottish Care Dr Donald McCaskill is pushing for this uh, change to increase, not cut the wages, but increase what we should be getting. I truly believe that you guys work really hard, you're professional, and that you should be paid as professionals and, uh, and given a fairer wage, and also considering the wage increases or the cost of living increases recently as well. We are still in a pandemic uh, just now. That hasn't gone away. People are still contracting COVID-19. I would ask you all, stress again, that you wear your PPE when providing personal care. That means your gloves, your aprons, when when carrying out personal care. Face masks are no longer required. 
Uh, that's by the health and safety and infection control precautions uh, guidance from the uh, Health Improvement Scotland uh, that we do not wear face coverings anymore. Not required unless there's an outbreak of COVID. Do not require to wear face masks. Please ensure that you carry out personal care with, with aprons at all times. Not doing so poses a risk of cross-contamination infection to you and to other people. There's reasons behind the infection control. I will be putting more information out on the infection control policy so you understand it fully. If you have any questions about infection control uh, and any, any part of that, or what you wear, what you don't wear for protecting yourself and infecting, uh, infection of, prevention of infection, let me know so I can try and support you with that. Okay. Thank you for that. Again, just to say thank you for all that you do. Uh, you work really hard. You're committed to the job as healthcare, social care professionals. Uh, without you, we wouldn't be here providing the good service we do to the people that need our support. That's our service users uh, and their carers and loved ones. Um, and anything else you want to discuss, pass on information to me or to Suzanne or to Heather. Uh, and we will talk to you. Just going to say goodbye. You can say goodbye, Cora. Our lovely staff, the teams working hard there at the end of the community. This corner says goodbye. There we go. I'll leave you out with a view of Edinburgh, which is beautiful, and up in the Petlands at Helen Ski Centre, where I used to ski many, many years ago. I won't say how many years, but yeah, I learned to ski here. There we are. Bye bye for now. Take care.